What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and Square Enix has just released a new trailer for Final Fantasy 15 and if you guys know the track record of 15 it's probably going to be another 5 to 10 to 20 to 80 years until we get another trailer much less actual gameplay <laughs> even though they did say something about a demo coming out next year. Now before we go any further my Smash Brothers people don't worry tonight at 4 a.m. you're getting an onslaught of Smash videos from me so don't worry about the Smash Brothers content it's coming up later tonight Eastern Time 4 a.m. Now, moving onwards, I know some of you guys, I know I know there's going to be some of you that, Yo, Etika, why are you saying you into Final Fantasy now, huh? You doing it for the views, you don't really care. Why you, you, you ain't into Final Fantasy, dude. What you, what are you doing? Um, I'm not into Final Fantasy, huh? I'm not? Oh, man, what, what's, what's, what's this? Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2, right here. I didn't even get to play these yet, but um, I'm looking forward to it. Final Fantasy 14, actually a really cool game. It's an MMO. I played a bit of it on my PS4. It was a lot more enjoyable there. The PS3 version is still good. But the real babies come down to these. And I couldn't find the box for one of these. But um, Final Fantasy 13, I played through this. It's an amazing game. Holy shit, nigga. <laughs> oh, man. And then Final Fantasy 13 2, I have here, along with Lightning Returns. And I actually, actually recently just started playing Lightning Returns. Um, <laughs> the whole thing, I, I don't, I don't know if it's okay to say spoilers in this, but, um, after 13.2 and the transition from 13.2 to Lightning Returns, crazy shit happens, man. So, um, yeah, I'm not into Final Fantasy, right? But, um, I, I have all the games right here. So, anyways, at least the recent ones. Now, I'll, I'll admit, I wasn't into Final Fantasy until 13, but, um, 13 definitely got me into it. And so, that's why I'm looking forward to 15 a lot, because I know for a fact that 15 at one point was supposed to be part of the 13 series, and it never became, so it just became its own game. So, therefore, I'm really excited to see some more footage from this. Now, of course, with the whole way that 13 went, it's going to be a much better improvement for 15 because apparently it's like more live action. Even though Lightning Returns, when I played it today, it was live action. You know, the whole thing with the whole, with the goddess and Bonavelza and saving people. Oh my god, I can't believe things are getting that crazy. So, so I don't want to see any of you motherfuckers talking about, oh, Etika, you're fake. You just, you just in it for the views. You don't care about Final Fantasy, nigga. Step into the rainbow. Find a better view. Take the chance in life before the next crossover. Nigga, let's go. Okay, so I'm ready. I'm ready to get into this trailer, man. I'm extremely excited. We're going to be watching through the trailer, giving you guys some highlights, some breaking it down, re reactions, and um, just giving you my overall critique of this whole thing. Let's just see what's going on. That basically means fair use. Anyways, so let's take a look. Final Fantasy 15, the newest trailer revealed today by Square Enix. I'm extremely excited to see what the hell's going down. Everyone's been itching for something for this game, so this is going to be big. It's the following is a sneak peek of a work in progress. It is These niggas got the slap. I like that car looks real, man. It looks like some midnight club type stuff. Okay. Uh, all black everything, man. Look like G Unit right now. Live action. I hope this will be on PS4. Because they said this would be on PS3, and it wasn't. <laughs> it totally wasn't. Okay. It's really pretty though. So you can drive a car. I think this is actual gameplay. It looks modern. That looks pretty. Oh, she's bad. Wow, that looks so realistic, man. You guys seeing how, like, those graphics, man, those definitely look like they're capable of being run on the PS4. To be honest. Uh, actually, I'm gonna be frank with you guys. Maybe. Damn. 
This looks a bit better than what the PS4 can handle, to be honest with you. This might just be PS5. So this is more of a cinematic trailer, just showing off the game's pretty features. In development, dog. How long has this game been in development? That's all we got. Holy crap! That didn't feel like two minutes to me, though. That felt like a that, that felt like a lot shorter than two minutes. Oh man! All right. So there's a lot to take into account with this. Now it's now from judging when they were driving in the car. There were times where they were driving in the car and you could see the HUD of their HP bars and whatnot while they were in the car. So that kind of goes to show you that that's going to be implemented with the gameplay somehow. I'm just trying to find that scene where they were in the car. But did you guys see how realistic this looks like? I mean, since this didn't really show off too much in terms of gameplay mechanics or how it'll work, the only thing that we can really go off of is the fact that we have, we have graphic presentation and we have um, gameplay to a small extent, but no explanation about how, how, how anything works out. Look at how bad this girl looks. She looks so real. I feel like I could just reach into my computer and pull her out. Look at that. That's amazing, man. That is incredible. Square Enix, you know, as much as they put these huge delays on their games, you have to admit that the end product comes out looking really spectacular. And I feel like that's going to be the case with 15. I'm just worried if 15 is going to be debuting on the PS4 or not. Because remember, I mean, I don't want to harp on this. I don't want to be too negative. But Final Fantasy 15, when it was 13 versus, was supposed to be on the PS3. And it got moved over a whole generation. A whole generation of gaming passed with 15 not showing up on it. Like, when it was promised, it was going to in the first place. So... That's the only reason why I'm a bit concerned here, because these graphics look they, they look incredible. This is probably the best I've ever seen. I mean, maybe there are some games that perform on the same or you know a little bit better, but these are these are top notch to me. Extremely visually pleasing. Whew. The gameplay, I mean, I don't know. Even though the gameplay does look pretty. There's not much to make me say that it's going to be too different from playing like Devil May Cry or whatnot. I mean, of course I'm expecting it to be a lot more sophisticated than DMC, but I mean, it kind of seems like it's going to be pretty much around that hack and slash action RPG kind of feel, which is always cool, but you know, the lack of HUD seems to kind of put me in the direction of feeling like it's going to be standard, typical, you know, like hack and slash. But I mean, that gameplay category is always fun, and it seems like it's going to be great in 13, um, excuse me, in Lightning Returns, because like I said, I just started playing Lightning Returns, and the fact that they changed the whole system from that whole um, paradigm thing to just straight up, you're able to move now in the battlefield with Lightning Returns, you're able to attack when you want, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, like very live action based. You can guard as well too, which is something that people have been wanting in Lightning, excuse me, in 13 for a while now, especially considering the fact that the only way you could guard beforehand is using um, a certain paradigm combination but in 13 with lightning returns you it, it's a great system so the fact that they're actually capitalizing on that with 15 now as we're seeing like look at that that's definitely a live action baby that's definitely live action so I'm hoping that they'll have it down to a way where it'll be really memorable like it'll be different stand out totally I have difficulty figuring out how it would but we'll see man we'll see and of course the visuals in Final Fantasy, man. It's amazing. So, um, anyways, guys, that was the Final Fantasy 15 trailer that they recently revealed. Let's just look at the description to see if there was anything else interesting about this that Square Enix wanted us to know. Uh, Final Fantasy 15 will be available on the PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah, that's what they said about the last generation. Um, Final Fantasy 15 is not yet rated. Please visit the Entertainment Software Rating Board at ESRB, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so they're still... Okay, will Lightning appear in this game? I heard that she will be making appearances in the future. Um, no. God, no. Please don't give me a heart attack. She will destroy any game with her warrior princess Xena or... <laughs> wow, alright. I, I guess there's a mixed reaction. Host Club Fantasy 15 looks incredible. Go on adventures in your fancy club and host club co-workers. Okay. Anyway, so um, that was Final Fantasy 15. What do you guys think of this new trailer that we got? I want your bets. How long do you think it's going to be until we get any new information for this game? I got a year. A year until we hear anything. You'll see. You'll see. Trust me. I'm, I'm always right when it comes to these things with Square Enix. A year. 
you know, we got something small now, a little trailer, which didn't really reveal anything. It pretty much did the same job that the last one did, which was debuted at E3 a while ago. But um, we'll see, man. Hopefully there's some more information that'll be put out about this because it looks amazing, quite frankly. And I can't wait to see more information about it. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.